over here at Shark Channel. Everything looks good on the launch here. Thank God no uh, plane crash. Water's up. Water's still got that greenest tinge to it, but it looks not too bad, really. Uh, wind's blowing over from the north to the south, so I'm going to stay over here. I'm probably going to try to look for those pilchards again and then uh, see if I can stake out those uh, tarpon and maybe do a little other dilly bopping around just to check things out. But uh, yeah, it looks good so far. I've already started to see the little juvenile tarpon rolling just outside of the mangroves. There's a flats and then it drops off along the edge and it looks like they're just holding up right along that edge there. So I deployed my uh, anchor buoy there so oh, you can see, see them rolling over there. So I got my anchor buoy deployed over there. I'm going to run to my bait spot, get a few pilchards, and then just kind of flick them over in that area there. So hopefully that will work out. They're over there. I think they're, uh, they're schools of uh, glass minnows over there is what they're doing. So I think this just might work out. Okay, so they're still here. As you can look, I mean, you can see the little dimples and then the little sparkles. They're jumping. That's the kind of stuff that you want to look for. Even if I'm way out in the middle of the channel, I'll see these little speckles from this clear, not clear, but flat water. Then you'll see the dimples. The other reason why this is so good is that you got the current coming right over the flats and then dumping off into this deeper channel along these mangroves. So they're just like any other fish. Food flows off these flats right down in here and then they have the ability to kind of hide underneath in this uh, eddy-like area and just eat at the food. So that's why these guys are here. So I'm gonna throw the net. I unfortunately don't want that many, but I think I'm gonna get a lot. So, oh well. Yeah. I'd... In closer here are the smaller glass minnows with the smaller pilchards. Out in a little deeper is the little bit bigger ones and towards the bottom are the bigger pilchards. But man, I'm gonna end up getting a lot more than I need. I don't even really wanna throw a, catch that many. Uh, maybe not too bad. Uh, that might be all right. They're a bit small. But... Get rid of a lot of those. That'll work. And we're good to go. Just like that. I don't need that many, so I'm just going to chum it up a bit, clear some of these. Definitely don't need that many. Ah, uh, you can see the tarpon rolling over there. I might need to go even closer, but we'll see for now. Cut down on the amount of bait I've got. They're getting all busted on over there. See, that's the tarpon running them. Holy sh! They're whoa! Look at that. <laughs> Those filters are working. Man, I'm just a little bit too far off. I'm in the middle of the current here. I need to reset. <laughs> Tell me that doesn't work. I got these right here. Well, maybe I can get this top water over there. This ought to be interesting. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 there we go. Oh, he missed it. There, oh, he missed it. What the hell? Oh my gosh. They kept missing it. I got dual treble hooks on it. What the hell? 
Come on. Oh. Oh, no. Did he break it? Oh, he broke me off. Sons of a crappers. Give me my lure back. Stop. <laughs> I have no lure. It broke the braid. Braid broke. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see if we can pitch one out. Let me see if I can pitch one out that far. Oh, that might work. Dang it, I need to get up set up a little closer. Oh, I can't believe I lost that top water. Oh my gosh. That is a heartbreaker. Yeah, I need to set up closer. Dang it. Ugh. Oh, they might be getting close enough. Might be able to cast to those. This is why you need a really long light action. There, that might work. Come on. There, I think it, yeah. Yeah, I think one's got it. Yep, we got them. There we go. He doesn't even know he's hooked. That got him. Plan works. Yay. Nice. And I think I could keep that pack there since I am far enough away. That's the only good thing about not being right on them. It won't be all spooking them out. I'm kind of pissed I lost that lure though. Dang it. I'm a little under, well, no, I'm pretty, I matched up okay. This is the Shimano uh, Terramar medium heavy. This is seven foot. I got a 4,000 uh, conflict pen. And I think this is a 15 pound braid and I've got 20 pound uh, mono leader. There we go. There you go, baby. Just no sharks and stay away from my anchor line. Same deal with the big tarpons and the small ones use a fairly light drag. So they do those violent jumps and head shakes. You're, you're not ripping that hook out and take your time, no rush. See, he can run all he wants to. But when you have a, a tight drag, they'll do that jump and really shake their head. Then you'll either pull the hook or straighten the hook or uh, break the line. But this way they put a little tension and the, the drag's working for you. So you don't have to worry about it. I do got to get this up because I got to start uh, airing out my bait so they don't die. All right, time to come in. You can jump again. And I could still manipulate it with a, using my middle finger to put a, just a little bit of drag on it but yet not put a heavy drag so it's real loose when it starts running hard. I could just take my finger off of it and I don't have to worry about it. 
same fork as when it jumps. I just want to keep turning them and keep turning them and making them fight. Once I get him to break that surface, then he's done. Oh, yeah, that was my kayak. Didn't like that. Come on. I can put a little bit more heat on him because he ain't going to be jumping. Get this guy up and out of here. Oh, headbutt. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, time to land you, buddy. There you go. There you go, buddy. Ah, you're in deep, so you get to keep it. And that's the way you do it. Oh, it's beautiful little guys. There we go. Plan A works. Love it when that happens. So got a lot of current, just gonna He's already biting me. Love the little ones. You ready boy? Yeah, kicking. Alright. Yeah. Set back up again. I'm a little bit closer to the sideline where those guys are at down there. So I'm gonna pitch a few of these pilchards out and see if we can start up some of that action again. See if we can get them busting. Oh shit, right there. Oh, that was a jack. Oh, the jacks are all moving in. Dang it, wrong species. Keep seeing one busting over there, so I just casted right at it. Uh, I think we got it, maybe. No. Yeah, something's got it. There we go. Little guy, but... Get you out of that hole where they're hiding. I think this one, it might have had it for a little while. It was just swimming around with it. There we go. Now he's out of there. Put a couple of hits on him, make sure that circle hook is planted. And then just 
watch that line. If it starts rising up, you know it's going to jump and you want to get ready to give it as much slack line as you can so it doesn't throw the hook. These little guys are jumpers. This is a real little guy. Get him up and out really quickly. Maybe. Thought it was a jack in the beginning until it jumped out there. Oh, there it goes. See, that's what you got to look for. That line started rising. So if I didn't give it that slack, all I had, it would have shook that uh, hook loose just like it spit that bait. You just got to watch that line angle. As long as it's doing a steep angle down, you're okay. It's not going anywhere, but all of a sudden it'll start rising up and then you got to know it's going to jump. There we go. On the wrong side, buddy. Swing over. Swing over. Under. There we go. Perfect. Oh, stay away from the anchor though. Stay away from the anchor line. There you go. You gotta watch it when it makes those turns like that. You can see it's coming up. There he goes. Oh, it's running. It's up on the flats area over there. Keep working them. Put a little pressure on them. But let them run when he wants to run. Gonna jump? Nope. Keep him on his side. Keep turning them. Oh. Keep that pressure on them. Don't need to force it. It's too tired to jump, so that's good. Wearing them out. Yeah, it's getting on his side there. It's good. There. We rolled them. So, this guy should be close to being done. Yeah. Ah, broke it off. Oh well, good release. Nice. You can see how it wore it just by rubbing against its uh, face basically. And then it finally just broke there. But you can see how chafed up it got. That's why you kind of have to step up the leader with these tarpons, snook like that. This is only 20 pound, so it's not the best, but I know these guys are kind of small, so a little bit more sporting as well. Quick break offs like that is good. But let's maybe catch one more. This again. Get them a little bit happy here. Find one good one for us. There's one big one in there that I want to get. This big boy. There they are rolling there. Now I'm just going to wait to see if there's any popping and if there's any popping or any rolling then that's where I'm going to throw it. Alright so one just rolled right there. I don't know if these are feeding or if they're... You can see them rolling over there as well. Uh, I think he's got it. Yep he's definitely got it.
<laughs> Beautiful. And I'm gonna use my fingers and oh, and hit that drag and then just give it a couple pumps just to set that circle hook. Oh, did it come off? <laughs> and then just lose it like that. But anyways, that'll get that circle hook uh, definitely planted in there. Not unhook them like that, but uh, you get the gist of it. That one's got it. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was kind of not a good one. Man, as soon as it hits the water, they're on it. <laughs> I need to go up to a bigger hook. Yeah, it shredded this already. All right, I think I'm gonna lead her up a bit, put on a seven knot maybe. I don't know. I really don't care about landing them, but oh well. All right, so they're rolling, coming towards me, so I'm just gonna flick this guy out there. I don't have any more really, well, there's a couple decent ones, but current's going that way. I think one's got it. There he goes. Stay on, buddy. Set that hook. And we are on. This is a nice little one. That's what I want. Oh, up, coming up. Nope. Oh, yep. See, coming up, pulling, not a good idea. And they're still there. And what happened? Oh, broke that leader. I was too damn lazy to change it, but it cut it there. And they're rolling right there. Oh, I got this thing here. Let me see if they'll hit artificials. Let's see if this works. Come on, baby. See, the problem is, is that I'm, oh, oh, hit it. One took a swipe at it. Is that I'm casting downstream and then reeling upstream. That's just not normal. Oh! <laughs> it whacked it. Dang it. <laughs> Man, I wish I had that top water. God, that pisses me off. Not only. Oh! Dang it. Oh! <laughs> dang it. <laughs> Come on. Gotta let him take it. Gotta go a slow retrieve. All right, let's hook one on this damn thing. I don't have the right jig head on here. These things will get work. There it goes. Uh, these you have to set the hook. Uh, there it is. See, this is not a circle hook, so I gotta set the hook on these. Yeah. Up. Oh. Nice. Cookies and cream. Yay. Yeah. And jump. There it goes. And spit it. This is kind of an old rusty one without really much of a bar, so <laughs> more fun than anything. 
Nice. I think one's got it. Oh, maybe not. Yep. <laughs> yep, got it. Set that hook a little bit and then do whatever you want to do. Stay down is fine. I'll wear you out. Ah, yes. I think I'll let these guys have a break after this one. I don't want to spook them off too much. This is too much of a fun uh, distraction. So I'd like to be able to come over here anytime I want to and smack a couple of these little guys. Yesterday was Jack Day. Today was Tarpon Day. Can't beat that. Come on, baby. Get off that bottom. Oh, jump. Jump all you want. I gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gonna do. No. Big, big jump, big jump, big jump. Yeah. Come around this side, Mr. Cooperative. There you go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, getting alienated. Yeah. I could read you like a, whoa! Wow, got lucky on that one. Those straightaway jump ones don't usually end up very well for you. But super light drag. Keep an eye on them. This guy's, this guy's gonna jump again. I'm worried he's gonna jump into the kayak. Keep nosing down is fine. Keep wear yourself out. There, got him going backwards. Oh! Couldn't give him enough slack. I break the leader, yeah. Just too long of a fight. And shredded it right up to the end. I didn't bring any 30, I've got 40, but nah, it's not worth the hassle. Man, that's fun. Go. That didn't take long. Uh oh. Come to me. All right, we're gonna bring this one in a little faster here. Uh, oh, you don't want to come in faster. I'm gonna jump. Gonna jump. Gonna jump. Come on, baby. And she's sideways. Come on. No messing around. You're coming in. You're coming in green. No time for messing around for you. Surrender. Give up. Uh oh. Gonna jump somewhere on the boat. Oh. <laughs> uh, 
Need more slack. Need some slack. <laughs> Thought I was gonna jump in the kayak. Just like now, except he's a little more tired. Come on up, let me see a close up jump. Turn him. Uh oh. There you go. You can feel that leader rubbing. I don't have a lot more left on it. <laughs> Chafed up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Building up momentum. Ah, I turned him. Uh oh. No, don't get in the anchor. Has turned. Keep him fighting against it. Chafing that, chafing that leader. <laughs> I'm down to about five pounds of the leader left. Oh no! No jumping! No jumping! You're not listening. It's okay. He's tiring him out. Uh oh, I can feel that leader rubbing. I think we're down to about three and a half pounds of tension left before that leader goes. Man, digging deep. Does not want to give up. Come on, let's stick a fork in this baby. Yeah, this one's got a little bit of dog stamina in them. It's a little decent sized one here. Whoa, use up that last bit of Gatorade energy. You done? You done? You done? Start getting wild. Don't start getting all crazy on me. There we go. Don't get all crazy. There it goes. I'll let you go here. Yeah, that's a not a bad one there. There we go. Ready, aren't you? Sucking my thumb. Good fight, my buddy. All right, I think you're the last one for the day. We're gonna call it. Gulp. Get that.
that air. <laughs> but he got wore out. All right. I think we're going to call it a day. They're still raw and I keep catching them, but I don't know. You only need so many. That was a great day today. Super happy. Everything worked out just as planned, which is doesn't happen often. But man, when the pilchards are around, oh, things are so good around here. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.